cemetery. But one thing I'd like to do at cemeteries, look at that, 1801, is I'd like to look at dates. <laughs> Only three years old. Huh. Probably died of disease. <laughs> died January 17th, 1881. Huh. Good year. But there's a lot of children in this cemetery. Huh. Got an entire family here. The Kingsleys. Very popular and, well, I should say historical in Rome, New York. Much like I'll be when I die. I'm gonna have a monument right next to the Kingsleys. Just kidding. Louis George Gooseman, 1893. Died in 1980, good year. <laughs> well, not really, I think Jimmy Carter was still president, so it wasn't exactly a good year. Died 1884. Huh. Quite a family. Glussman. G L E S M A N. In case you want to Google it to see what's behind the family. That's what I mean. You have a giant monument like this, but there's nothing that says what the family is famous for. Now when I go home, I gotta Google it. Louis Glussman. October 1837, died 1904. But I always like looking at dates. You can learn a lot of history just walking through a uh, cemetery. All the snow is gone. However, most of it's going to come back at us on Sunday. Eighteen ninety-three. Good year. I remember it well. <laughs> See what I mean? That's a, I don't think this one's ever had names on it. It's too uh, too flat, too smooth. So maybe it's for you know future family members. Fred Slauson. Name sounds familiar in Rome, New York. Slauson. 1932. A lot of 1800s, though, in Rome, New York. Uh, try reading that. It says James Madison Jenks, J-E-N-K-S, 1809 to 1892. Pretty good age. <laughs> And there's a lot of headstones in the ground, so, you know, if you're walking through, try, try to notice them and avoid them. Don't go walking on them. It's, you know, rude. I mean, how would you like it if people walked on you? <laughs> See, these are all blank. Still blank, still blank. Still blank.
still blank. Just a big monument. My tombstone is going to be a cardboard box. Okay, maybe not. I mean, that's what most undesirables in this country deserve, is a cardboard box. That should be their tombstone. I mean, who the hell wants to remember them? But these are, look at this, it looks like a dial, like a mystery dial. No names or nothing. Can't even read it been here a while. William Grayman. G-R-A-M-O-N-D. Captain, 78th New York Volunteers of the Civil War. Died February 1919. 78 years of age. <laughs> Must be he survived the Civil War. <laughs> I'll give him credit there. <laughs> this is what I like about cemeteries are the trees. Check those trees out. Got a lot of fog today. It's rather mild. Sometimes though there'll be uh, vultures in those trees. Most days there's ravens, but... <laughs> Mainly during the summertime, you'll see a lot of vultures that nest. And they go from treetop to treetop, neighborhood to neighborhood. But they like the quiet areas to roost. I wonder if anybody's ever gone swimming in there. Probably. But. <laughs> If, if, if people are willing to, uh, daring enough to go swimming in the Barge Canal, they probably have swimmed in a cemetery. I died 1905, 37 years of age. Uh, died 1893. 31 years of age. <laughs> Herbert. I don't know, I can't read it too good. Herbert Breen, it looks like. B R E A N S. A lot of these people were young, 35 years of age. But like I said, during those years, you know, 1800 to say 1915, uh, <laughs> the pandemics that were going around then, there really was no cure for them. I mean, either you made it through or you didn't. Uh, yellow fever, scarlet fever, smallpox. I uh, just, I'd like to bring a toothbrush in here one day with some bleach. Or some regular soap because bleach would probably discolor it and hurt it even more. Uh, some bio-friendly, environmentally friendly soap and just clean off some of these tombstones because, I mean, you can't even Never read them. Find There's it. writing on Today this, I'm but not it's just... looking for it, and it's right in front of me. Huh. S.B. Stevens. Killed by the savage Apache Indians. Oh, boy. I'll probably get a lot of hate posts for saying that. Arizona Territory, December 29th, 1863, 35 years of age.
kill those savage Native Americans. <laughs> you know, I say that. My family hears it. It's probably why we never go to the Turning Stone Casino anymore for dinner. I don't know. Snowflakes. The Indians are doing just fine right now in the 21st century. They make a fortune off us white people <laughs> and everyone else. <laughs> Not afraid to say it. Has anybody thought about chopping this tree down? I mean, holy cow, is it waning. <clears throat> Doesn't look it, but it's really lightning. And if it falls, <clears throat> it's going to go right on top of Francis Bellamy. Catherine Hinckley. Hmm. You can't really read much. 1824, died, uh, 1850. Huh. George Serve, Marianne. Blink. Nice monument, though. Does any progressive or snowflake in this country know who Francis Bellamy is? Does anybody really care? No, you, you care more about uh, rap music and, and uh, the latest posts on, uh, I don't know, fucking Facebook or whatever. Yeah. People say they, uh, people have always said, you know, I have real fear for this country in the future. Well, I think with all the wokeism, cancel culture, 